Hello students, you are welcome on learning with L and R and today we are going to discuss about the topic that is hypospadias. So let's discuss about hypospadias exactly a condition congenital problem related to penis. In this what happened? The normal where the normal stream for urine in hypospadias that is stream below to the normal. Okay. The term hypospadias refers to a urethral opening that is on the ventral surface of the penile shaft proximal to the end of the glands. The meters may be located anywhere along the shaft of the penis from the glands to the scrotum or even in the perineum. Then some boys with hypospadias particularly those with proximal hypospadias have cordy in which there is ventral penile curvature during the erection. Proximal hypospadias means near the normal, near the normal, uh, where the normal opening for uh, urine stream are present, it's near to that. Incidence hypospadias occur in up to four newborn boy out of 1000 newborn. The reason why the penis does not develop properly is still not clear. The development of the penis whilst the baby is growing in the womb is partially dependent on the male sex hormones such as testosterone. testosterone. Because of the imbalance of testosterone, this problem occurs. The effects of testosterone on the growing penis may be blocked in some way. Although it is not a genetic condition, hypospadias can run in some families. Causes behind present at birth if it present at birth it's congenital then the exact reason this defect occurs is unknown a defect in the androgen stimulation of the developing penis the deficient deficient androgen production by the testis and placenta then risk factors if the mother is, is 35 or above and the mother is obese in that condition it can be happen fertility treatment where the technology used to conceiving for conceiving in that condition also it happened then if the mother dependent on some hormones then it's also happened and mother uh, exposure to the smoking or any kind of chemicals then if it occurs in if run in the family history after that classification Ducted in 1996, it divided into three, 50 percent anterior, 30 percent middle and 20 percent posterior hypospadias cases happened. The anterior form, these uh, granular, granular, coronal, distal penile, it's the parts of the penis. And the middle form, mid shaft and proximal penile and posterior, penosacrotal, sacrotal and perineal. Glenular hypospadias, the urethra is within the head of his penis and coronal, the opening of the urethra is just below the head of his penis. Distal penile, the opening of the urethra is in the distal portion of the shaft of the penis means where the normal opening, it is abnormal opening and away from below from the normal opening. These are the types according to the location the name is different we start from the below perineal scrotal penosacrotal proximal penile mid shaft distal penile sub uh, subcoronal and granular then mid shaft the opening of the urethra is located along the shaft of the penis proximal penile the opening of the urethra is in the proximal portion of the shaft of the penis and penosacrotal the opening of the urethra is located where the penis and scrotum meet we have done this scrotal hypospadias okay, done hypospadias with the urethral opening on the scrotal surface perineal hypospadias the urethral meters opens in the perineum near the anus the scrotum is usually cleft and clinical manifestations of the child in case of mild hypospadias usually does not cause symptoms especially in newborns and young children 
This condition may cause a downward curve of the penis during an erection and erections are common in infants, infant boys. Other symptoms abnormal spraying of urine, the stream of the urine not normally happen and having to sit down to urinate, foreskin that makes the penis looks like it has a hood. The farther the opening is from the tip of the glands, the more likely curvature of the penis is present. Diagnostic measures, prenatal ultrasound, here we can know about it. Physical exam of the newborn, in physical examination we can see and excretorurogram. This test uses x-rays to provide pictures of the urinary tract. Then treatment in medical management, minor cases, in case of minor in which the meters is located up toward the tip of the glands may not require surgical repair and may simply be managed with observation. Then adjuvant hormonal therapy, pre-surgical treatment with testosterone injection or cream as well as HCG injection, HCG it is a hormone, it helps to promote the penile growth and uh, for the improvement in quality with lessening in the severity of the hypospadias. Surgical management. Management begins in the newborn period. Circumcision should be avoided in case of hypospadias. And the ideal age of repair of healthy infant is 6 to 12 months. There is no greater risk of general anesthesia at this age compared to 2 to 3 years. Penile growth over the next several years is slow as comparative to normal. The child does not remember the surgical procedure. Postoperative analgesic needs are less than in other older children. Then different kind of surgeries. Glandular hypospadias requires a glandular myotomy. Uh, Coronal hypospadias requires a mutual advancement and glanduloplasty. Proximal hypospadias without a corridy can be treated by a skin flap advancement. If corridy present, it should be excised and an island flap urethroplasty performed. This is all about hypospadias. If you feel any kind of difficulty, kindly convey me. Thank you very much.